And if you have any comments, I would love to hear from them, uh, or I'd love to hear them in the post. I'm just, this was, I'm just going to start this whole thing over. Hi everyone, it's Amanda Johnson back with another Thoughtful Thursday where I share tips and insights to help you love the life you have so you can have the life you want. And this week kicks off a really special series of Thoughtful Thursdays where I am going to be sharing with you the three biggest lessons I learned in 2015 and that starts today. Nearly a year ago today, to the day, um, I shared my, I wrote down my reflections and my intentions. I looked back on 2014 in reflection to see all the lessons I had learned and everything that I had done. And then I set some intentions for the new year to come. And it was interesting now just looking back over what I had written and noticing what had transpired for me over this past year with these intentions guiding my way. And the intentions that I set for myself for 2015 were to create, commit, and cultivate. Uh, put another way, I was looking to experience more creativity, more focus, and more abundance in my life. And if you are curious about how to go about setting some of your own soulful intentions for the new year, well, I invite you to join me for my upcoming free seminar, um, Soulful Intention Setting on December 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So mark your calendars and be sure to join me. I'll be sending out more information on that. So keep an eye out for, for that to join. But part of this process of um, reflecting is to look and see what were the lessons that I learned. So as I'm looking now ahead the next year, I started with this question and I came up with three of my biggest lessons from 2015 that I will be sharing with you over the next three weeks. And the first one I would like to share with you today is how I've been learning to trust myself more deeply. Now, this all started after a themes call that my mentor, Janine Yoder, hosts every January. It is an incredible experience. And during the meditation that she led us through, it became crystal clear to me that trust was a word I needed to pay more attention to. So with that being my theme, it really helped set the stage for the way in which I engaged with my life this year. And I continued to deepen in this um, trusting of myself through practice. It didn't happen overnight, but it happened in small little uh, intentional steps throughout the course of the year. And one of the things I realized as I reflected back on this lesson was just how important and necessary it was for me to feel whole and good enough in and of myself before I could trust myself. Because what I noticed is as I got to this realization that there's nothing lacking, I had no need to look outside of myself for what to do or how to behave or whatever. I was able to trust all of that inner wisdom that already lies within me. And what help, helped me to do this the most, and I really want you to uh, take away for yourself today, is I simply observed any time I was in a place of doubt. I, I acknowledged that I was doubting myself or feel, feeling fearful or not really sure of what to do. And then I did it anyway. I noticed whatever it was that I was trying to share or how I wanted to show up in the world was good enough. And I did it. And each time I did that, I became more and more trusting of myself because I revealed more and more of my true self who is always trustworthy. So my intention for sharing these lessons with you is for you to hear some of my insights so that it might, um, I don't know, kind of ping some of your own inner wisdom and really light that up so that you can also learn for yourself how you can feel into this trusting space a little bit more. And a couple of um, offers or a couple of invitations for how you can do that is to start 
by simply being the observer. Notice when you are in doubt or feeling judgment or critical of yourself. And then acknowledge it. Acknowledge that it exists and go ahead and do the thing anyway. Whatever it is that you're feeling slightly doubtful of or unsure of, tell yourself it's good enough. Put it out into the world. Share it. Offer it. Whatever that means for you. And then start to see that by doing this, you are becoming a more trustworthy individual because you're already whole in and of yourself. Now, I hope to hear you on the call in a couple of weeks on the 29th of December, where I will walk you through how to set some of your own soulful intentions. So be sure to mark your calendars and watch for a a personal invitation to join me. And... Be sure to also watch next week's Thoughtful Thursday where I'm going to share with you the second biggest lesson I learned from 2015 and how that might also uh, churn up some of your own inner wisdom or how you might apply that lesson to your own life. If you are not already signed up to receive these directly to your inbox, be sure to join my mailing list so that you won't miss the next two lessons and all the good wisdom that you will uncover within yourself from hearing them. I always appreciate you taking some time out of your week to watch these Thoughtful Thursdays and that is the same today. I will leave you with our closing reminder that it is not about being more or being better. It's about being good with being you. And I will see you next week when I share with you my second biggest lesson from 2015. Do you want to learn more about how to observe, accept, and release in your daily life so you can start revealing more of the wholeness within and start living the life you truly desire? If so, I invite you to join me for my Being You Holiday Challenge. You can get more information at www.amandajohnson.tv.